All right, we are very excited to bring out our next entrepreneur. Brooke Martin is the inventor and founder of IC Pooch. She is from Spokane, Washington, and she is 14 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Brooke Martin. Thank you. Welcome, Brooke. Hi, Thanks nice for being to meet here. you. See ya. Thank you. Yes. Hold on, I'm just got to set this up really fast. All right, we, All right. This we is, a... the timer's not going yet, okay. so we'll reset yeah. the timer in that meantime. Yeah. Take your time. <laughs> this is great because it not only combines, you know, presence, you know, webcam presence, but there's a little bit of a surprise that comes with this too. I don't want to steal Brooke's momentum as she's setting this up here, um, but but we'll let her let her jump into her pitch. Okay, sounds great. So I'm Brooke Martin. I'm 14 years old and from Spokane, Washington. I'm the inventor and founder of IC Pooch. IC Pooch is a device that lets you two-way video chat with your dog and deliver a treat to them from anywhere in the world. So IC Pooch connects to your home Wi-Fi network and it, you can use it through our free app which you can download on any Apple or Android device. So as you can see on the front here, there are two brackets and so these actually move up and down so you, the user puts their own tablet or smartphone on the front of the device. So whatever you have at home laying around an old iPhone or a Kindle Fire, you can put it on the front. So on the inside of the device, there's this sleeve. And so this is the cookie sleeve. Um, so it's kind of like a Pez dispenser. You load the treats down into it. I'm going to put them in here really fast. So I'm just going to put two in, but two in. And so you put them in there and then you place it inside the device. Now inside there's um, a motor and it has an arm attached to it and so it swipes the treat out into the tray for your dog. So we have our own line of Icy Pooch dog treats and that's what you see here. But you don't have to use our treats with it. It's adaptable to whatever um, your dog prefers. We know that dogs can be pretty picky when it comes to their treats. Um, and also we've recently come out with a solution where you're able to use a plastic dish and you can put you know, other types of dog treats, cat treats, candy for your kids who want to check in, make sure they're doing their homework, <laughs> um, or even pills for your grandma. Just mom. <laughs> Are you taking your pills? <laughs> so it's really adaptable, and we've worked to make it adaptable for the user and however they, however they choose to use it. So I'm, you know, if I'm at work or on vacation, I just open up the IC Pooch app, and it's on there. Um, and so then I just connect to video. My face will automatically come up on the screen, so you don't have to worry about training your dog to answer like a Skype call. It automatically comes up for them. Um, and you can hear and see them. They can see and hear you as well. Um, so it's, you really have that two-way interaction with your dog. And if you want to show them even more love or get their attention, you press the drop cookie button and Icy Pooch dispenses a treat. Um, that yeah, works. Yeah, thank you. Nice. <laughs> so... It's a really fun product and dogs really like it. We've been in the development stage for about two years um, and we've recently started manufacturing. We've kept it all local in Spokane, Washington. Um, we started selling about two months ago and so far we've shipped a little bit over 400 units. Um, so at, we're excited to see as IC Pooch grows and gets more attention in the market um, how it'll do and how it'll affect dogs' lives everywhere. So. <laughs> All right. All right. That's, That's awesome, Brooke. Nice job. Awesome stuff. My first question, my first question is security. I don't know. I have a dog by the name of Henry, who many in this room may know if they listen to the radio show about some of Henry's exploits. He's an 80-pound flat-coated retriever who eats everything. Oh, okay. This week, he ate a bag of flour. Oh, no. The flour is on the rug. It's, it's, it's nasty. Henry could penetrate this device. I think you need to do some canine testing well, with Henry to see if he could break this down. So that's a really good point, and a lot of people always say that. They're like, well, my dog would know there's cookies in there. Like, they would just knock it over. So what we've done is you can actually remove the tray on the front and put this up on a countertop or a shelf so your dog can't get up to it and then it just drops the treat onto the floor for your dog. So. An old Henry. fashioned solution to a <laughs> real problem. Just take the tray off. So Brooke, tell us about the inspiration for this project. Why did you create it? Yeah, 
so um, my golden retriever, Kayla, when we first adopted her, she had really bad separation anxiety. So whenever we left her, whenever we were getting ready to leave for school and work in the morning, she'd run around the house and she'd be whining and carry our shoes around. And so it was really hard because she would get, she seemed really depressed and like she didn't want us to leave. So um, I did a lot of research and there's actually over 10 million dogs in the United States alone that have separation anxiety. So I thought, what if there was a way to connect with your dog while you were away from home? And um, I like to video chat with my friends and family that live in different places. And so I thought, why not your dog? <laughs> so can the dog really see what's going on on the screen? And I may hear the audio, I'm sure they can hear your voice, but can they right. see you and interact with you? I've always had this uh, idea that dog's vision is, doesn't work the way ours does, but are they able to see right. you? Um, they are, and we, there's been several studies um, released recently that show that dogs can see screens with the new LED technology um, that's in the screen. So they can perceive you on the screen. Um, it kind of depends where the dog's attention is. They are more excited about the treat oftentimes. Do you have but... dogs that just sit there and stare at it all day? Oh yeah, my dog will <laughs> lay here even when we're home and just wait for a treat, hoping that you know it will automatically deliver to her. Which creates maybe another problem that you could try to solve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Brooke, just a reminder, how much and where can people get it? Yeah, so it retails for $129, and it's available for sale on our website um, and several other online e-tailers, and we're um, working to get it available on retail shelves for this coming holiday season. So what's, I'm sure everybody in the audience is fascinated by the fact that here you're a very accomplished 14-year-old old entrepreneur pitching this very innovative device. What's it been like for you this past few years as you've, as you've built this up, and what lessons can you share about your own entrepreneurial journey? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, it's been such an amazing opportunity and experience. When I first came up with the idea, I wasn't sure how people were going to respond to it, you know, if they were going to use my age against me or for me. And it's just been so amazing. I've received so much support um, from people in my community, people outside of my community, and I've learned so much through it. And I think the biggest thing that I've learned is just to keep moving on with the idea and um, really take it as far as you can. So. Great. Yeah. All right, that's Brooke Barton, Thank the you. founder of the IC Pooch. Thank so you, let's give her a big hand. Thank, Thank you, Brooke. Bye.